by PvP and sporting in the bottom right hand corner of Oceanborn, we have the Canadian Protoss player, the Red Protoss representing Basilisk. It is Trigger. And spawning in the top left hand corner, we have we have the Polish Protoss player, the Blue Protoss representing Sidestorm Gaming. It is Geralt. Here we go. And if you're in the chat, predictions are now open. Place your bets on who you think will claim the series, on who you believe will be the first finalist of the night. Here we go. We have our two Protoss players. Again, the upper semifinals will be played after this. So Australia will have some time to rest up, to recuperate, to go over his life choices. Ah, did he pick the correct race? Aye, aye, aye. As we can focus on our lower match instead. Again, Geralt, he was missing in action. He was MIA last night in Sparkling Tuna Cup. Nowhere to be found. But he is here facing off against Trigger. It's going to be a two-gate opener from Trigger. Likewise, two-gate opener out of Geralt. This is a rematch from last week. If you were here uh, in the previous week with Tenacious World Tussle, you will know that Geralt and Trigger, they had a best of three. They went all the way to the ace match, and they had a banger of a PvP where Geralt was able to embrace the late game. Likewise, Trigger was able to meet in there as well. Geralt having a unique approach to PvP where he would often rush into Disruptors, then into Sky Toss, and kind of force his late game scenario. We've seen that time and time again out of Geralt. And we'll see if he does it again this week. Now see. I love both of them. Calm both. Oh no. <laughs> um, but yes, as someone is asking in the chat, um, and we went over it during the podcast last week. Um, but Geralt is still technically on Sidestorm Gaming. We were informed last week that he is on the team, but he is looking for a team, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, um, basically, uh, there's no kind of, like, lock-in contract for Geralt. Has publicly announced that he's looking for another place to call home, but until he finds a new team, he's still on Sidestorm Gaming. That is, uh, the current news of the, the state of Geralt. So, hoping you can find a, a nice new home. Hoping. Um, that does mean that we're going to have to fix up Liquipedia. Yeah. We'll fix it up. So, we'll try to inform, um, inform the Liquipedia editors. Maybe, uh... After today's broadcast. To fix that up. Otherwise, for now, Geralt's going for the Proxy Dark. Let's go! <laughs> it was a Twilight Council across the map, and he's going for the Proxy Dark Shrine here towards the bottom left-hand corner of the map. A cheeky build here out of Geralt. Again, if Trigger skips out of the Robo, if he delays the Robo a little bit longer, if he's too greedy, if he cuts corners, then the game may just end. Oh boy. Here we go. As a hallucination and moves out to scouts. Trigger gets eyes on the initial tech. Behind the mineral line, gets eyes on the Twilight Council, sees it researching as well, is aware of Blink. And now I'm concerned. Now I'm that much more concerned for Trigger. Now he can react and he can try to buy time for the robo, but it's going to be heavily delayed. Hallucination dives in. Geralt, he smiles to himself. No robo! Third base! Trigger being too greedy. Ah, uh, just a little bit too greedy. I mean, what are the chances that your opponent is hiding a Dark Shrine of all things? It is a very... It's not the most common of builds, um, but it it, it punishes this specifically. As here comes a third. And zero detection. Zero detection. Here come the first wave of DTs. They're warping in. DTs are on the way. They are slow warp ins, so this is giving Trigger a little bit more time to react. A little bit, but, uh, 
Oh boy, Robo. Okay, Robo gets thrown down in the main. And again, because these warpins are slow, a trigger has time. Going for a counterattack. The main armies do pass by each other. Oh, we're going for a base. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Geralt does turn back around. Third base will be denied. DT finally waddling in. The Robo is halfway done. Yeah, boys are being pulled away. DTs are getting damage done. At the same time, the trigger is pushing in towards the natural. Forced to recall. Did deny the third. So far, buying time. Does fully wall. No! Oh, the force field was, was misplaced. DT gets in. Probes are going down. Yeah, workers are falling, and this is... This is too much. This is too much. This is 10 workers already falling, and we're not done. 10 probes going down. Third base being retaken. Boys being pulled away. Very far away. And this is the power of the Invisible Man. Oof. Getting up to 14 plus probe kills. 70, 20 probes go down. Ay, ay, ay. The Observer has finally arrived, but... It is a little bit too little too late. Geralt has a massive worker lead. And trigger. He has some catching up to do. Shield batteries on the way. Um, Geralt's main army isn't large enough to really contest against the third, so Geralt has to calm down. Oh, getting punished. Nice blink. Takes down the sentries. Geralt has to back up. And Geralt, yes, to just wait for his economy to kick in. Now, on the one hand, yes, Geralt has a massive worker lead. He's up 12 probes, but his third base was denied earlier, so he has long-distance mining. He has inefficient economy here back at home, so it's not as bad as it could be. Trigger is still in this. He is still in this. Uh, has some recovering to do, that is true, but the game isn't just over. It could have been, though. It could have been over. If the DTs hit any sooner, if the warpins were any faster, then maybe. Now that Adeps get caught out. Trigger still down 10 workers. Still building up, getting into plus one. Meanwhile, over time, Geralt's main army is getting larger and larger. Fourth base on the way. Trigger out of position. Geralty does push right down mid. In between the bases, takes down the shield battery. Gets a probe. And catching a couple of zealots. Trigger coming in from behind. Geralt blinking over. From here, he can recall. Or just blink down to the low ground. Geralt getting another five probe kills. And we'll get away. Geralt, he just maintains his economic lead. Backing off, getting to plus two. Maintains his upgrade lead as well. Reinforcements. Charge kicking in for both players. And Trigger now forced to invest into immortal production. Trigger is going to have to be the defender. Going to be stuck at home. Moving out with hallucination. Getting a read on what's going on. Gets eyes on the fourth base saturation. Ah. Gets eyes on the fourth. Ah, bit of a better fight for Trigger. Does force back the army. Doesn't quite pick anything up yet. Oh, no! The move command! A bit of a miss rally. Uh, miss rally to Mortal. Mortal goes down for free. Ay, ay, ay. Not like this. We can't afford these losses. And you can see Geralt now taking a massive supply lead. As we mentioned earlier, Geralt, he just needed a little bit more time for his economy to really kick in, and now it has. That's reflected here with a 40 supply lead. Geralt pushing forward with two Immortals. He can keep going. No Warprism, unfortunately. Warprism is just now on the way. Geralt's rotating around. Looking 
for another way in. War Prism has arrived. Now we can reinforce on the front lines. Ooh, uh, a little bit supply blocked, unfortunately. Pylon's just now finishing up. There we go. Now with a 50 supply lead. That's a lot of supply. That's a lot of safe bat. It blinks in, takes out the prism, going for the Archons. Tarks them down one after the other. The Archons fall the Immortal as well, and the Geralt will take game number one. GG. GG, well played. Again, the DTs did critical damage. Didn't straight up end the game, but it did set Geralt up for success. Did critical damage. And with that, was able to just... Yeah, get further and further ahead, Snowball out of control with his economy, with his army, and take a lead. Does take a lead. GG, well played. Now we're jumping into game two. Now, when it came to when it comes to this series, when it comes to game number two here, we didn't really get to see the best of Trigger just because of the initial opener. DTs did cripple him at the start of the game. Because of that he was playing from behind. Um, I'm sure this time we'll see a more even back and forth here, and we'll see if Trigger can use this to recover. See if he can recover, we'll see if he can force the ace match or if it all ends here and now and Geralt is one game away from taking the entire series I don't see him rushing into DT's two games in a row I don't see that happening I imagine he's gonna calm down but we'll see we shall see As we're loading into Golden Aura. And as we're settling in a massive shout out to Ryu in the chat. Gah, papi, gah. Good night, have fun. Ah, buenas noches, papi, buenas noches. <laughs> Did notice the raid earlier during the game, so I apologize for not giving a shout out earlier, but thank you so much, Ryu. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, papi, gracias. <laughs> as we're getting into game number two and spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Golden Eye, we have the Canadian Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing Basilisk. It is Trigger. And spawning in the top left-hand corner, we have as opponent, we have the Polish Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Sidestorm Gaming. It is Geralt. Can Duck speak Spanish? This Duck can. <laughs> This pato cap. Ah, uh, quack, papi, quack. Por supuesto, por supuesto. Soy peruano. Ay, ay, ay. As it is going to be a double gas opener into double gate, I'm sure. We are settling in. The probes are moving out. And again, even though we had uh, Geralt pop off last game with a proxy dark shrine, I can't imagine he does that two games in a row. I mean, he could if he's crazy. Could go for the proxy two games in a row, but he's not that wild. Right? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, we even have one of our emotes with a, with a duck with a mariachi hat. Ah, el mariachi hat. It's beautiful. As the probe does back up, both players throwing down their second pylons in the main. There's no proxy pylon, there's no fake proxy pylon either. Everything is looking as it should. And a trigger does open up double stalker. Double stalker against stalker sentry. So Geralt's going for a bit of a safer opener, or a more defensive opener, I should say. Sentry does allow us to hallucination scout across the map. Trigger with double stalker can follow this up with additional stalkers with double adept, can move out and can be more aggressive. And be more assertive. And we have our answer. Double Stalker into a third and fourth Stalker as well. So Trigger's going to be more aggressive. He's going to be moving out across the map. We'll be expanding. Geralt's going for additional sentries. Safety Shield Battery is on the way. 
and see what Trigger can get done. As he's now up to four Stalkers. That's a lot of Stalkers. And he's moving out. He is moving out. If there wasn't a safety shield battery, he could kind of break through this. Sniper Sentry, two, even deny the third or deny the natural. Army moves out and the shield battery is done in time. Geralt should be safe. At the same time, Hallucination gets into the main, spots the Twilight Council. Geralt is aware. Stalkers broke in and have to back off. Do have to back off. Trigger shaving off some sh some shields. <laughs> Nothing major. Likewise, Twilight Council opener out of Geralt as well. Both players rushing into Blink. And Trigger does retreat. Does follow up with two more adepts. So we can try to bypass the main army and get into the mineral line. Now I'm trying to keep up. El Quaco. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, hi, hi. Not like this. Este Pecoeta. As Debs, they do shade into main, they can run your probes. Will they just get the two, though? Two probes go down. Adepts get cleaned up. So, better trade for Geralt. This trigger does trade two for two. And our players will back up. Both players are expanding, taking their third bases. Geralt is going to be the first to move out with his main army. And with these force fields, he can try to catch Trigger off guard. That's the thing, there is a small window here where neither player has blink, so force fields can be brutal. Speaking of, oh! Once all gets pulled out, nice force field out of trigger. And girl retreats. And we could have seen a major clash, and we could have seen either player pick off like two, three, four stalkers. But Geralt, he wants none of it. Gets the hell out of there. And the game is going to calm down. Calm things down from here. I say that trigger moves out once again. It's spotted by the hallucination. Geralt's out of position. Racing back. Uh oh. Uh, Geralt's not where he needs to be. Oh my god. <laughs> Geralt throwing down those force fields. A little bit premature, but he was terrified. Some panic force fields out of Geralt. Does hold. Adepts threatening shade towards the natural. Trigger pushing in. Adepts, they do get into the main, actually. Uh-oh. Shade into the main base. Probes are going down. At the same time, Trigger, he pulls it. He does pull the trigger. He's going for the third. Does head for the third base. A little bleeding out of sentry. And a stalker as well. Not the best trades from Trigger. He does get three probes in the main. And he backs off. <laughs> and Geralt holds. Does hold on. From here, Trigger getting into Shazal Archon Immortal. Likewise, so is Geralt. I mentioned before that Geralt, he has been known to kind of skip tech and rush into Disruptors. But that is not the case this time. Not this time for the Blue Protoss. Both players tech looking quite similar. Geralt moving out, going for the fourth. Can he force a cancel? It's going to be close. Looks like he will. And yeah, the fourth base is denied. For the cost of one stalker so far. And yeah, Geralt gets away. Trigger forced to rebuild. Now Geralt's fourth base is comparable with that of Trigger. is now quite closer. Uh, the other big difference here, I believe, yeah, there is no Temple Archives. Oh, now we see why. <laughs> no Temple Archives, no Archons for Geralt. I mentioned before that Geralt is quite fond of Disruptors, and we can see here and now the bay is on the way that should be for Disruptor production. Geralt, he's working on it. 
working on those disruptors. And because we're on Golden Aura, this game this game can progress even longer and we can head into the late game. Depending on whether or not Trigger can break Geralt before he gets into a mass amount of disruptor. Before he hits critical mass. We'll see if he can. Rotating around. Going for the fourth. The bay is done, but no disruptors, not yet. Trigger pushing in, no Archons either. Zealous can reign supreme. And Geralt is equal with his pants down. Before he gets into disruptors, before Archons as well. And Trigger, he's trading well. Getting into all the Stalkers. Immortal has arrived. Sony got away from his own fourth. And Trigger, he just reinforced with more Zealots. That's a lot of Stalkers, though. Fourth base goes down. Trigger backs off at the same time. Zelda towards the left-hand side, but there's an overcharge. Geralt holds. He does hold. He may have lost an expansion, but he survives. And now he can embrace those disruptors. The balls, they're coming! They're coming! Ah. Second Robo Disruptor production has begun. Geralt is up against the wall, but with one good Nova, with two good Novas, he can hold. He can survive. And get into a later game. Trigger doing everything he can to end the game here and now, though. Denies the fourth once again. Nova goes off, doesn't connect. Uh oh. Yeah, the Nova doesn't quite connect, and now Trigger, he's diving in once again. And he's so close to breaking Geralt here and now. He gets the Disruptor, getting on top of the Robos. And the Robo is denied. Trigger pulling back, warping into the main. The other Robo is saved. Geralt, he defends. He holds. Once again, Geralt holding on. Trigger up in expansion. Up in economy. So Geralt gets into one disruptor once again. Getting into those disruptors. Trigger taking another expansion, getting a fifth. Does push forward, Nova goes up, up, does connect. A mass connection on the Archon and a Stalker. Disruptor almost going down, and we come in for the surround. Oh, and that's Trigger overextended. Yeah, the concave in favor of Geralt. Second Disruptor has arrived, Nova goes up. Oof. Doesn't quite connect. But the army is battered and bruised for Trigger. The Stalkers are barely holding on. Zell's coming in to reinforce at the same time. Will the main base under fire? 20 probes go down. And Trigger, he pulls Geralt apart. GG gets called. Trigger ties up the series one to one. <laughs> GG. As that fight was going on off screen in the main base, there was a warping of Zealots. There was Zealots in the main. 20 probes went down. Geralt, he was pulled apart, was unable to stabilize, unable to hold on. We're going to game three. We're going to that ace match. Let's go. Let us go. And again, this series can still go either way. As the ace match is going to be on Alkyone. Yeah, getting ready for that ace match. Here we go, we're jumping on in. It is going to be one of the larger maps in the map pool. We're going to be loading into Alkyone. Let's go. And again, there was a lot of pressure on Trigger to end the game then and there before Geralt was able, was able to hit critical mass of disruptors. He never had more than one at a time. And was never able to, never allowed to expand and take a fourth base either. Trigger just would not allow it. And here we go. We're getting to the ace match and spawning in the top right hand corner of Alkyon. And we have our Canadian Protoss player, the Red Protoss, representing Basilisk. It is Trigger. And spawning in the bottom left hand corner, we have his opponent. We have the Polish Protoss player, the Blue Protoss, representing Psystorm Gaming. It is Geralt. We go.
There we go. Oh, gonna be settling in. Now, after what happened in game two, do we go back to shenanigans? <laughs> does does Carol does he embrace a proxy dark shrine once again in the ace match? Is he that crazy? Is he that bold? It's possible. I mean, hey, it worked in game one. We'll see. Bring on the DTs. Ah, oh, no. Not again, Bappy. Not again. <laughs> As Geralt's moving out, so is Trigger. Huh. Oh, no. Do pass by each other. <laughs> Do pass by, moving out across the map. Shout out to the turtle. And this is going to be a two gate opener. There's no hidden proxy, there's no fake proxy. No one is mining out minerals and and hiding on the right-hand side or anything crazy like that. Nothing wild. We're just calming things down, scouting each other. Geralt will get eyes on the second pylon. Likewise, so will Trigger. So both players are aware that everything's looking as it should. No proxy. Why do we have a platypus? Because it's a duck. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> it's like an Australian duck. Beautiful. Why do we have a turtle? These are questions that we shouldn't be asking. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Man. Don't worry about it. It's trying to be a duck. Exactly. Exactly. It's fine. As Trigger is going, going, is going to be going for his expansion. Did open up Stargate. Likewise, so did Geralt. Uh-oh. Let's go. Both players are opening up Stargate. Trigger moving out with his double adept. Can the threaten a shade. Likewise, Geralt moving out with his stalkers. Runs into the adepts. Shade is cancelled. Trigger getting caught out. Uh, does try to make use of that steam vent, but the last one adept does get picked up. Better start for Geralt. Gonna be reinforcing with another Stalker. Oh, and does collapse from the Eps once again. Oh, Trigger's in trouble. Trigger, he is in trouble, bleeding out every single death. That's four depths going down. That's a, that's a lot of units early on. Is racing back home. There's one adept left. One Stalker. Sure, there's a shield battery, but Geralt, he has momentum. He knows that he's moving out across the map. Oracle's on the way for both players. Trigger reinforcing. Shield battery still on the way. Gets another adept. Carol pulling back. You want the main base? Uh, there's a shield battery. No shield battery for Trigger. Ay, ay, ay. And Trigger, he's not ready. He's not prepared. Oracle does dive in. Probes are going down. It's going to be three, four probe kills in the main. Five probe kills. Oracle taking a lot of hits. Oracle goes down, a massive pickup at the same time. Stalkers, they hit the natural. More probes falling. Seven workers going down. And with that, Geralt takes a massive economic lead. Trigger has potential with his own Oracle, but again, with a shield battery, it's hard to get damage done. Not impossible, but difficult. So the Oracle goes for the dive, gets the Stasis Trap, but alas, Geralt does react. Uh, still gets caught out, though. Two probes and two stalkers. That is some damage. Still not ideal. Behind this, Twilight Council's on the way. The probes are falling. And right now the disparity doesn't the disparity doesn't really look too great here, but we're just waiting for the economy to really kick in for Geralt. His production underway as well. Getting into four gates. Is that the second oracle? Ooh, second oracle goes down. This time not for much. So a better trade for trigger. 
Ranger is recovering. Uh, bleeding out more adepts. He's trying to catch up on Blink. Blink is on the way. Yeah, Geralt, he's not pulling, he's not holding back. They're going for a fifth proxy gateway. Yeah, fifth gate is on the way. It's four back at home, and it's gonna be a big committed two-base push from Geralt. I mean, Geralt, he knows he has an advantage, he knows he's ahead. So he's going for the kill. Nice scout here out of trigger. Does realize what's going on. To cancels the third. Base is denied, but at least Trigger knows. He's getting ready. He's getting ready at the natural. Does wall off. Geralt's going for the cult. <laughs> Why not? Rushing into the goal base. Containing his opponent on two bases as well. Ooh, and Geralt, he can dive into the main. He can, and he will. Blinks on in. Takes down a Stalker. Gets a Pylon. Can't really engage the main army. But does get three more probes. Oh. Four probe kills. The shield batteries themselves forcing inefficient mining as well. Six probe kills. Workers go down. Geralt once again makes sure there's no third. Just containing trigger on two bases for as long as possible. Yeah, and Geralt, he can take this trade as well. Reinforcing on the front lines. Ah, I'll trade trigger. Uh, Geralt trying to push up the ramp though. Trigger, can he hold on? Can he hold? Ah, looks like it's going to be close. The blinks are on point, but alas, the Geralt, he does break through. Once again, contains Trigger. Kills the probe, denies the third. And Geralt, his gold, it's getting saturated. There's the recall. The goal base getting up and running. Once again, Trigger, he just can't expand. It's all he wants. He just wants a third base. Not like this. Third base finally being taken. It's finally on the way. After Geralt's already saturated. And Geralt, he's still just out trading Trigger. And taking down more Stalkers. And at this point, it's just a numbers game. At this point, Trigger, he's just being outscaled. Cannot keep up. I mean, he can micro his heart out, but it's still... He's still just down in economy. Down in production. Down in army. Here, the stupid doesn't lie, but It's not lying. There you go. He goes for the dive. He goes for the kill. Did go all the way to the ace match. But here, go just had a massive lead early on. Crippled the economy. Just never allowed Trigger to expand. Can never take a third. Geralt, he, just can, he can just keep reinforcing. I mean, the Oracle's done a lot. That's 11 probe kills. Jesus. <laughs> 11 workers go down. Worker counts are comparable, but triggers oversaturated, and Geralt has the gold. So, still better mining. The solo are coming in. Let's go. Slow lots buffering. Trigger taking the linear third instead. Up. Oh. We good. Uh, charge still five. There we go. <laughs> Finally, just finishing up. And the Geralt, he can die once again. Gets another immortal. Another immortal goes down. We're going to go towards the shield battery. 
brings it down as well. I mean, Girls just reinforces. They take a while to really get going, but they do finally arrive. And it's just been an uphill battle here for Trigger. No shield battery, no overcharge. Army gets caught out in between the bases, and GG gets called. It's just too much to overcome, and Geralt will take the series 2-1, to one, advancing on to the Grand Finals. GG. GG, well played. Geralt will take it again. He had a massive lead early on, just crippling the economy of Trigger. And from there, he was able to just double down on Stalker production, able to contain Trigger on two bases with that advantage, with that lead, and then just get further ahead, taking a third base as the goal base as well, just ensuring that he doesn't fall behind, ensuring that he can even just take some bad trades, some inefficient fights, and still overwhelm, still overcome. GG. GG, well played. Congratulations to Geralt. My condolences to Trigger as he is knocked out here in the semifinals. But a shout out nonetheless because, hey, you made it to top four. And top four do get paid out in this tournament. Do still get paid out. GG, well played. And now we're jumping into our next semifinals. Shout out to Australia and Honmono. They've been patiently waiting. They have been paid off against Geralt. 